Santa? Santa, is it you? I've been a good boy, I swear. Open sesame. Here's the moment of truth. Wow. These are now selling at auction for 160,000 and up. Yeah, yeah. So we are patiently waiting for my new cause. It's not actually new, but it's new to me. My cause companion fourfold sculpture. So this is like kind of like my living room. Uh, we're here at my house in LA. This is my second home, kind of like a vacation home because we're living in Puerto Rico now. I'm having a lot of fun, you know, decorating the house, designing the house. So we got these shelves going. I love toys, I love sculptures, I love art. So I've been kind of playing around with the shelfscaping here with some of my favorite artists and books. Here's one of Cause's uh, most recent releases. It's, uh, you know, Medicon Gone 2019. So this is like one of his newest ones that I got. These are also bare bricks. These are just like fun little collectible toys. This one's from Basquiat. Shout out to Basquiat. He's one of my favorite artists. Uh, I get a lot of inspiration from him. This is a, a bronze sculpture by Salvador Dali. He's a surrealist artist from Spain. He is the late, great Salvador Dali. He passed away a number of years ago. Rest in peace, Dolly. You're one of the best. Then we have up here, a Keith Haring Medicom. You know, these are just little toys. They're fun. Keith Haring's one of my favorite artists. Uh, he was an amazing graffiti artist, street artist, and gallery artist. Then we have one of my little sculptures up here. Obviously my favorite one. My sculptures are very unique. It's, it's, it's a lot different than you know, something like this. I've done toy releases like this. This is more of an original piece of artwork. Each one is, is hand painted and unique. I don't make too many sculptures, you know, I really enjoy them and I keep them very exclusive. So a sculpture like this is very special. This is like a resin mold that is then electrochrome plated. So it's kind of like the similar process to chrome plating your car or bumper or wheels. I dropped this sculpture about a year ago but for these original sculptures, these, these aren't really like a release or drop. It's more like just creating the piece and putting it in the gallery. So we have some of these actually at my gallery, Eden Fine Art right now in New York. Okay, this is one of my other favorite sculptors. He's one of the best. His name is Alberto Giacometti. He was an Italian sculptor. He was definitely one of the most important sculptors of the 20th century. Uh, he's a piece of history and it's amazing to have him in my house. We also have one up there That's kind of like his iconic walking man. Yeah, Giacometti. I, I, I love his style. It's very unique I think for an artist It's important to have a unique style to have a unique style where if you look at this piece, you know immediately It's Giacometti. I think that's the most important thing of being an artist is having your work be recognizable and identifiable when I was first starting out I was creating different styles, I, I was working in, in different mediums, and I thought the most important thing is, if I do a graffiti piece on a wall, I want people to know immediately uh, and identify that piece as an Alex Monopoly piece. Giacometti, you can completely tell this is a Giacometti piece without even seeing his signature. So that was kind of my goal, to create artworks that people would know it's Alec without even seeing his signature. Okay, so this is my favorite little entrance area to my house. I'm always posting this on my story and my Instagram if you look. It's also a helmet that I've been working on. Before I was just doing like, kind of just like designer Star Wars helmets, but now I've been exploring with like, kind of treating them like they're like a graffiti wall and just tagging all over them, which it looks pretty cool. This is another sculpture by Salvador Dali. It's kind of like cool entrance to the house. Like, shh, be quiet, we're chilling. <laughs> oh yeah, it's here! Wow, I'm so excited. Santa? Santa, is it you? I've been a good boy, I swear. Wow, this thing is huge. Oh my god. This thing is heavy. Wow. Okay, I am so excited. This is like Christmas. Wow, so look at this. This is the original box when this was actually released from Medicom. Medicom's based in Japan. They specialize in making art toys, collectibles, like the little cause we have there. 
This was the largest Medicom release that I know of from Cause. Let's open this up. I'm really excited to see this. Okay, we are going to open this box as carefully as we can, even though this box is kind of already a little beat up. And we'll see, you know, this is, a, this is an exciting moment. All right, three of them. Yeah. Open sesame. Ooh. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Wow. That's what a $160,000 toy looks like. <laughs> wow. Mama, you wanna see a $160,000 toy? Could you imagine when you were buying me toys as a kid that I would buy a $160,000 toy? Oh my God, that's amazing. That is so cool. Oh, congratulations. Mm. It's beautiful. <laughs> Let's put on our gloves because we don't want to get any oil from our hands on it. That's a deal, right? Keep all that original packaging. This piece was originally released and the price of it, the original price was $3,000. Now, recently, Cause had an auction record of $14.4 million for one of his paintings. So, all of his work shot up these are now selling at auction for 160,000 and up. Go get that. So this is the stamp Medicom 2009. The sculpture was released in 2009 and it was for sale. The retail price was $3,000. It's pretty crazy. Now in 2019 they're selling for 160,000. So imagine Look at your investment. So it just goes to show that artwork is, is such a good investment and it's an investment you can enjoy, you know, putting your money in the stock market, whatever. You have no idea where that money is. You don't get to see it. You know, this is a beautiful piece of artwork that you can actually have in your home and look at and enjoy. So that's what we're, exactly what we're gonna do with this piece. We pulled the trigger. I actually have two of these. I have one more coming that is red and gray. So we're just getting ready to set it up here in the house. It's cute. Oh, it's so oh. cute. I like to go like this. So cute. So cute. Okay. <laughs> and now we are transferring the sculpture from the floor onto the pedestal. Oh, that makes sense. It's like every move you make with this sculpture is very scary and it makes you very nervous because one drop of it can take a crucial blow to the value of the sculpture. So. We don't want to damage it at all because any one little scratch on it takes away from the value. This is a 160K piece. We put a lot of money into this. We got to make sure it's safe, so. Okay. I'll make this. Let's do it. You got your side? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, we'll, we'll scoot it over. Just set it down. Woo! Wow, right, that, that is nerve wracking. Right. Wonderful. designing and figuring out the size for a display case. I think it's super important to keep this piece safe from any, you know, dangers, dust. 
someone bumping into it. We're gonna have some big parties here, so we don't want anyone touching the sculpture. So we're designing a stand and a box to hold it up. So we, we're thinking a little bit shorter, and then it's gonna be a glass case with chrome molding around it. So it kind of gives it that intangible, valuable feel. Right now it's just, it looks too accessible. We're trying to keep it exclusive. Guestless only. Oh man, guys, it looks so good from every angle. No matter where you look at it from, you can like discover new things. Nice to meet you, Kazi. My name is Monopoly. I am so grateful and happy today. Um, I've worked so hard to get to this point where I could afford things like this. Um, I'm a huge fan of Cause, and this is just like a real lifetime accomplishment for me. You know, right now, uh, it means so much that I, that I could even afford a piece like this. You know, in art school, I looked up to this guy so much and it seems so unattainable being able to have a piece of his work that is actually has significance. Um, so, you know, this is a real emotional moment. I'm so happy right now. I'm so grateful to all my fans, everyone who supported me for me to get this far, to be able to even buy things like this, to be able to build a beautiful house like this, fill it with amazing art. It's just like a dream come true. So I just want to thank everyone out there who follows me, who supports me, who collects my work. God bless you all. Thank you for tuning in. Please click subscribe on the video and like the video. Have a good one.